what's up youtube it is your girl Brittany, and i am here to present britney's late night tea okay and it goes a little something like this britney's late night tea britney's late night tea britney's late night tea <laughs> <laughs> not saying for shit <laughs> why did i just try to say that but anyways i am here to drop a little tea on you guys and this is a story time tea i'm going to basically expose to you guys so i had a lot of kickbacks while I was staying inside of a transitional drug rehab program <laughs> and, and I mean of course it's funny now because I'm over it and I'm just not in that space anymore so I'm okay in my life to talk about it oh my god y'all so if you want to know the backstory of how I even got inside of the drug rehab programs, you're going to have to like, share, comment below, and subscribe. And let me know if you want to hear that other story about how I even got there. You never know, it might inspire somebody or something. I don't fucking know. But anyway, so this particular time... Oh, and before we get to that, I am drinking on Taylor Port. And we're just going to mention them one time because they're not paying me. <laughs> so... And then I got some new shoulder homes on ice in the freezer as well. So let's jump right into the story time. So this was like a particular night that I throw this kickback and just a little bit of background of how the kickbacks even got started at my house inside of this drug transitional rehab program. <laughs> so... Basically, I was working at this hospital during this time and you know how you may get cool with your work buddies or something like that, whatever, and y'all may go out and hang out and stuff like that, whatever. So working at this hospital and stuff like that, whatever, at first I really wasn't social with everybody. I'm just that person. It takes a minute to actually um, get to know me. Like anybody first meeting me they'll be like okay that's a stuck up bitch or she a nasty ass attitude which is true i do have a nasty ass attitude but that's neither here nor there so uh, it just takes me a minute to actually like socialize and as i get older and older i get more wiser and i get more social and i get just more comfortable within myself so anyways getting off subject so basically this is where this crowd came from from when i worked at the hospital so we started clicking, hanging out, stuff like that, and we would go to hunting houses, people would have events, and things like that, whatever. So, at first, one of my co-worker associates, they were having kickbacks at their house. So, I would go over there with everybody else in our little small clique that hung out outside of work. Because, you know, you just have that little small clique. Some people hang out with everybody. No, we just had, like, that little small clique that we hung out with, and it was, like, just us. We may add some new people in and stuff like that, whatever. That's when the stories get even more crazier. <laughs> but that's another story. So this um, particular clique, first the kickbacks were at um, my homegirl house at the time. And we just going over there kicking it, kicking it. I don't even... I can't even recall how it switched from her house to my house. So anyways, it switched from my house. I decided to have a kickback one day. Oh my God, why did I do that? Because it was just like, after that, like, <laughs> it was like ongoing and it was getting messier and messier and messier. So I, this particular night, I switch it to my house so we just kicking in chilling i got some girls there i got some guys there so it's like our little regular crew and some of the people that's hanging out with us they don't work at the hospital that i was working at they were like friends of somebody or cousins of somebody or something like that whatever so it was you know a nice little 
crowd let's just say picture yourself at a space game because that's what we had like we had space we had we we had drugs we had like it was a nice kickback now mind you this is in a transitional drug program unfortunately but i mean after i had that one kickback i just kept doing it because you know the lady who was like overshadowing me she really wasn't like really taking no drug tests she really wasn't searching my apartment she wasn't doing none of that stuff so i just kept on doing it like whatever but anyways getting off track again so um and this is my first time doing story time so y'all like share comment below and let me know how i'm doing i have a lot of stories for you guys it's just like building up enough confidence to actually get on this video and expose all these things that have been going on in my life and once a couple of people hear a couple of these stories they're probably going to feel some type of way. I'm not going to say any names, but when they hear this story, they going to know like, oh, yeah, I was fucking there that night. <laughs> so, but anyways, this particular night, we're just sitting there kicking it, chilling. We got the space game going, got a little music going. We just sitting there vibing, networking in the most ratchet way ever. Like, it really was a good time. So... Think of this. Picture this chilling. You got a couple people at the table. You got some people standing up. So here's where this night gets weird. So we just all having a good time, like I said before. And I have my ex, my ex, his cousin's friend was talking to my coworker and they know each other because we done kicked it before. So they're just like having a little debate and it's like a friendly debate going back and forth and whatever. So I didn't catch the initial beginning of the story of why this happened, what I'm about to say, but I caught the middle and the end, okay? So I did catch the beginning because I'm it's my house. I'm the host, so, you know, I'm trying to pay attention to everybody, make sure everybody good, so I really wasn't focusing on the beginning of what happened and what popped off. And I wish I would have been there at the beginning. I really wish I would have. I got to take a sip before I say it. <laughs> so, we're just sitting there freaking chilling. All of a sudden, my ex-cousin's friend, and I want to explain it that way because I don't want to say anybody's name, <laughs> but I want y'all to get the picture. My ex-cousin's friend, this dude, we're going to call him Jay, okay? So, Jay decided to, out of nowhere, get butt ass naked in the middle of a motherfucking card game. I'm talking about butt ass naked, y'all. When I say this nigga ain't have on nothing but some socks, Nothing but some socks. When I tell you this is a true story, true tea, like unfiltered, this nigga had nothing on but some socks. So now I told you, mind you, I didn't catch the beginning. So I didn't even, at first, I didn't even know why he was butt ass naked. I, I had no idea. So I had to like slowly catch up and be like, okay, nigga, whoa, ain't no orgy party going on here. Even though I got some orgy party stories for y'all. T, like, share, comment below for those orgy parties. T. Anyways, so this dude's in here butt naked. So I see him still going back and forth with my homegirl, and let's call her R. So what did I say his name was? J, J, and R. So J and R still going back and forth. But mind you, J is still but naked so he's like come on come on come on telling art to come on come on come on and i'm like w -w -w wait i don't understand why he couldn't get naked in the bathroom I'm not saying that my bathroom was open for you to get naked but if you wanted some place to get naked it was some privacy like it was a three-bedroom 
regular apartment even though this is a transitional housing program if anybody know about transitional housing programs they will have programs inside of public residentials but they'll just like buy out the building or something and you still have rules you still have stuff you have to buy by but you're mixed in with the general public and whatever so that's what type of style those were like it was just regular apartments. So I'm not saying that, that my apartment was big enough for him to go get butt naked in the bathroom or anywhere else. It was just like, okay, well, I could have gave you any idea of where you could have got naked other than in the middle of this space game in my living room. <laughs> so anyways, he's sitting there. He's like, come on, come on, come on, come on. And she's just sitting there looking at him like, nigga. <laughs> First of all, I put that bird back in the cage. <laughs> First of all, first of all, <laughs> second of all, put that goddamn turtle back in the shell. Like, it could, <laughs> and she was just sitting there looking like that. So, anyway, so she's sitting there looking crazy. He's still sitting there butt naked, talking about, come on, come on, come on, and whatever. And obviously, she did not budge. So, I figured out later on, this is what happened. So, basically, you know how, you know how... If you talking to a dude and let's just say you really don't know him, but you know of him and you're just having cordial conversation, just trying to be nice. Like it's a difference. Like females, sometimes they will either be stuck up and just look at you and like, oh, don't talk to me. Or you'll have the other females where if they're being nice, it's not a necessary guarantee that they actually like you. They're just trying to be nice within the moment. So you may say some slick, flirty stuff and I'm just laughing, get off, just kick, 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 kick. Check this nigga out all in my video. <laughs> 